You ever take your kids to the zoo and by the fourth or fifth animal, they're tired, cranky, and hungry, and you're ready to go home? Well, guess what? You're taking them to the wrong zoo. Because the Saginaw Children's Zoo is the zoo your kids need to do, it's the perfect place to enlighten them to creatures from far and wide, all without overtaxing their short little legs, and oftentimes their even shorter attention spans. Yep, this is the perfect sized little zoo, but don't let its size fool you. This pint-sized preserve is packed full of fascinating flora and fauna that will both educate and entertain your youngsters. How do I know all this? Well, I've been here before, but you know who knows even more? It's awesome Ashley Brooks. You know, I call this the Goldilocks Zoo because it's not too big, mm -hmm. it's not too small, it's just right. Yeah. It's like the perfect place to take your family, especially when you got little legs with Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Um, and it's just, and plus the, the depth and the breadth of what you have here is mind blowing. Yeah. What's the name of the alligator behind us, by the this way? This is Nero. She's our American alligator. She's one of my favorites, actually. I think I'm scaring her. Anyway, <laughs> uh, anyway from vertebrates to, to birds mm -hmm. to, I mean, you've got, well, take us on a quick little walk around the zoo. Okay. We've got, um, we've got our alligator, we've got wolves, we have a whole forest area that has a lot of really cool Michigan native species like birds of prey. Um, we have a nice barnyard area that has goats and sheep um, for people to interact with. Um, we have our outback area, which has our kangaroos, our emu, a big aviary with lots of different birds. We do have a really nice variety of animals. And of course the penguins, everybody loves them. Yeah, I think the most popular animal here today is kids because oh, yeah. it's just amazing how many children <laughs> love and to hear that much laughter oh, yeah. and I always say a zoo is such a wonderful place to take a child mm -hmm. because that's where you get future zoologists yeah. naturalists environmentalists absolutely they are they come from kids who went to a zoo and they were mm -hmm. little they saw an animal and it touched them. You Absolutely, know, I mean, that's why we're here. I have to say my favorite exhibit are the prairie dogs. Oh, everybody loves the prairie dogs. Oh my dogs. gosh, because- You can watch them all day. <laughs> well, because at this zoo, you can get so up close and personal yeah. with the animals. You can. A lot of zoos, there's a big there's a big wall and the, the animals, you know, a hundred yeah. yards away. Mm -hmm. But those little prairie dogs are, they run right up to the glass. They do. It's like they're saying hello. Yeah, they do. And that's also important too, that, you know, to have that connection to make with the animals and like really remember that from your childhood. Like I remember going to the zoo and seeing these animals up close and thinking that and carrying it through the rest of your life. So we are very lucky to have a lot of animals that are that love to see people too. Do you have any big cats? We don't have any big cats um, at this time, but we do have our otters, which are a, a huge draw. People love watching them because they're super, super playful. Kind of like our prairie dogs, they come right up to the glass and they really love interacting with the guests. The Forgotten Fort is, is a really cool place. It's, I really love it because it's a lot of Michigan native species. So we have um, deer, we have hawks, owl, we have our bald eagles, a turkey vulture, and a lot of those birds of prey are actually rescued injured wildlife. So um, you'll notice that the bald eagles don't have a roof over them, and that is because they were injured in the wild, are unable to fly. Um, so they were rehabilitated, and they were brought to the zoo to live out you know, the rest of their lives in comfort and be really great ambassador animals for their species. So teaching people about bald eagles and other birds of prey and the threats that they face you know, right in our own backyard um, is, is very cool. And then we also have our Mexican gray wolves over there, which are in, an endangered species, not native to Michigan, but they are an endangered species that uh, we are part of a species survival program for them. So we're helping with the reintroduction plan to get those guys back in the wild. Well, this is an amazing place. And if you're ever looking to rescue a lower primate, I have weekends free. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> what a great day we had at the zoo. And all the animals seem to be so thrilled we were there. If you're looking for a wonderful way for you and the kids to spend the day, I highly recommend the Saginaw Children's Zoo. They've got an awesome array of animals who are just waiting to meet and greet you. Hi there, little feller. Thank mm -hmm. you.